Metric units. Understanding metric units of measure. Multiply the following by 1,000. Three zeros. Start at the decimal. Start at the decimal. Hey, if you didn't hear me, start at the decimal. One zero, two zero, three. Got to fill it in. The answer is 30. Start at the decimal. Start at the decimal. The place you start is at the decimal. One, two, three. The answer is 4,020. You must always start at the decimal. You can't just start in the back. That doesn't happen. The reason you could do that in fifth grade all the time and it worked, because you didn't have to deal with decimals. Now you do. When you don't deal with decimals, the decimal is at the end of the number. Now, we have to start where the decimal is. When multiplying, the number gets bigger. So we go to the right, we did get bigger numbers. Dividing, we start at the decimal. One, two, three. Placeholder, 0 0.030. Zero. <gasps> that number did get smaller. A thousand, three zeros. One, two, three. 0 0.4871, we have our answer. We will be doing a lot of stuff with 110 and 1,000 today. If you know the shortcut and know why it works, life is easy. If you don't, it could be a little more hard starting in a day or two. All right, good deal. Understand and select the appropriate metric unit for measurement. Metric system, it's used in all countries but three. The metric system is a measure used in almost everywhere in the world. Its advantage over the customary system is that all metric units are related by the decimal system. They're all bigger by 10. Millimeter, one one thousandth of a meter. Centimeter, one one hundredth of a meter. Decimeter, one tenth of a meter. Kilometer, that means there's one thousand meters. Those are things we need to think about. 1,000 of these makes one of those. 100 of these makes one of those. 10 of these makes one of those. 1,000 of these makes one kilometer. The thickness of a dime is a millimeter. Width of a fingernail, not the depth of it, but the width of it from side to side. One decimeter, width of the CD case, so how wide a CD case is. If that's confusing you, it's going to be um, about that wide, from my pinky to my thumb. A meter is 39 inches, or 3 feet and 3 inches, so that will give you an idea. The width of a single bed, or the width of a door frame. And the distance around a city block, or 0.8 something of a mile. Okay? So, a ballpoint pen is about 14 millimeters, centimeters, decimeters. Those are the three shortest. Centimeters, well, a centimeter was about as wide as the finger, so I think 14 centimeters would be it. A football field is about 100, <gasps> wasn't a meter that's about the same as a yard, so it's about 100 meters. A loaf of bread is about three, hmm, long. Okay, a loaf of bread, it would not be three widths of my thumbnail, all right, it would not be three yards or football feet or three feet. So I'm thinking it has to be that decimeter item between those two. An earthworm is about five, I'd say centimeters, knowing my thumbnail. Now we look about milligram, gram, and kilogram. Milligram, your pills are measured in 40, 60 milligrams. That's the weight of them. A gram is about a paper clip, not very heavy. A kilogram is about a textbook, okay? The orange has a mass of about 600, I'd say 600 paper clips, wouldn't you? So, 600 grams. The Liberty Bell has a mass of about 943. That thing is massive. It's about half as tall as I am or a little bit more, maybe about three to five feet tall. So I'm thinking kilograms for that one. The mass of a bunch of textbooks, and that is right. All right? Milliliter, liter. Two liter bottles of soda. 
Well, half of those. All right. When we think about that, an ice cream scoop holds about a hundred. It wouldn't hold about a hundred half of those two liters. So I'd say it'd be milliliter. That'd be correct. A large punch bowl holds about seven. Yep, that would be liters. Thinking about your soda bottle. Now use the ruler to measure the length of the line to the nearest centimeter. One meter, two meters, three meters. All right. Well, all right. And each of these is about 10 centimeters. So we're going to see the line is between three and four meters. It's closer to four meters than three meters. So the length, oh, it says to the nearest centimeter, but they actually have you go to the meter. Well, I call it four meters. Sorry, mistype. Use the ruler to measure the length of the line to the nearest meter. All right, there are 10 between these. This one gets to the one, two, three, four. It's a little less than half, so I'd say it's nearer to the one meter. All right. <clears throat> well, again, let you try. Tomorrow we start conversions, changing it from one thing to the next.